Hey. Hey, Brian. <laughs> um, it can uh, can we, we talk a second? Um, sure. Uh, here? Yeah. Cool with you? Um, sure. Um, you've been working with me now for four weeks, and uh, it has been my observation that every shift we have falls way behind. Why, why do you think that is? I don't know. Oh, seriously, Brian, it's, it's, it's not a test. Just take a guess, buddy. Just, I, I don't know. The, the patients are complicated. It, it takes a long time to work one of them up. Well, as you probably uh, realize, I've um, <clears throat> been keeping a, an, an eye on you lately over the past two weeks. So I've observed some of your history and physicals. You're spending over an hour with each patient. You take a brief history of presenting illness and then run through a very long list of detailed uh, generic questions with each patient, except you, in many circumstances, you forget to ask key questions about their, their presentation. Um, and, um, you know, after we've discussed the patient, you had to return to them to get more, more information. Um, you know, after your physicals, you seem to spend a long time uh, writing up findings before you're ready to discuss the patient. Again, after we discuss the patient, you spend a lot of time dictating before you're ready to see the next patient. So, uh, what's, um, so what's up with that? Oh, well, <clears throat> when I'm with the patient taking their history, I prefer to just listen to the patient like a normal human being. And then I take my detailed notes after the patient history. You know, I, I know it's not the old school way of doing things, but it's the way I was taught. I also prefer to write down the examination immediately after the exam and then dictate after the patient discussion. Otherwise, I'm, I'm worried I'll, you know, forget something. You know, it's, I'm, I'm trying to be as accurate as I can be. So, yeah, it takes time. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying my best, but you never seem happy with me. Oh, okay. Uh, um, okay. Uh, so, based on what you're what you're saying, I, 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 get, I get the impression you you don't uh, you don't think it's working out. I've been watching you, and there there's some things I really would like to help you improve. Right. One really big strength is that you do care about the patients. Let's, let's build on that. Can we move forward? Okay. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Are you sure? You don't sound like it. No, no, I, I, I appreciate you saying so. Um, let's, let's move on. What's next? Okay. Um, I want to ask you about your learning goal. Uh, what, what, uh, what would your learning goal be? I, I don't know. Well. Uh, Think about it. What, what would you like to be better with? Uh, well, let me think about it, and I'll get back to you. Um. Well, the, oh, I don't know. It's it's the the differential diagnosis. All right, it, it's hard to focus on just one. Okay. 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 Well, let's focus on that then. So, uh, over the next two weeks. Let's work on making your history more crisp, more efficient. 
um, start with consider making your differential diagnosis before moving on to the detailed patient's history of their presenting illness. Uh, we can review that differential um, just before you speak to the patient. Uh, we, can, we, can, we can talk about what information you need to differentiate between these diagnoses. Does that seem, does that seem reasonable? Or? Yes. Well, um, as for your as for your uh, system reviews, you can you can ask general screening questions rather than detailed questions about each system. Because I'd rather you spent more time getting a clear picture of their presenting illness rather than completing a detailed review of systems. I'll I'll I'll, I'll show that next clinic. Okay, uh, more showing. Oh no. No, Brian, I'm sorry. I am going to, uh, I'm going to involve you in this a lot more than I have been. A lot more. I promise. I promise, Brian. Um, yeah. Um, I, uh, I don't want to pry, but um, you've looked really tired lately. I know, I mean, I know residents. I know how hard you work, but... Um, is there anything you want to talk about? Any uh, stressors in your uh, private life, uh, work? Or? There, there was something personal, but that's that's ending now. That's it's done. I'm sorry. I've I've been more tired lately, uh, but that that's going to change. I'm I'm going to change that now. You don't have to be concerned about that anymore. Let's just focus on the rotation. Okay, I, I, I trust you. I, I just want you to know I'm there, available. Okay, uh, and there's some other resources I can connect you with. In the meantime, my goal is to find the time to talk to you about, to talk with you about the patient before you see them, so that we are both set up to do a little better. Hey. Well, enjoy your lunch, buddy. <laughs>